Hello, Loveland. I'm with Stacy Lund and Tori Morrison. I'm stumbling over your name again, Tony Morrison. <laughs> Tori. It's Tori Morrison. And uh, we're at the Angels by the Trail mm -hmm. mural. Uh, I stumble over that yeah. too because I, I want to say Angels on the Trail, but it's Angels by the Trail, the mural. That's Stacy led the effort to, to get it painted, and she's going to tell you about it. Uh, we're on the Loveland Bike Trail. Uh, Eats Fence. This is Eats Fence behind us. Uh, this is the Linda Cox parking lot over here. Uh, Loveland Canoe and Kayak is right next door. If you head that way, you're heading down to the restaurants uh, on the bike trail. And there goes some bikers right now. So the, in this little enclave is the uh, Angels by the Trail mural. So Stacy, tell us about it, what it is and, and everything. Sure. Um, hello, everyone. Um, I'm Stacy Lund, and I saw this mural done in Mason by um, Jennifer and Mark Winter. And I just thought it was a beautiful tribute to children that had passed away too soon. And Tori, my friend here, <laughs> um, lost her son. And I just thought it'd be a great tribute to him and all the other kids. Um, and so I wanted to repeat it here. So I contacted Jennifer and her husband and I met with them and they told me how to execute it. And I met with the artists and um, one of the obstacles was the location. And I went and picked out probably 10 places that it possibly could be. And I met with a couple people and it just wasn't working out. And then one day my friend Megan Hogan and I were walking and she's like, what about that? This wall right here. And funny thing is Dale Eads is my neighbor and I asked him and he said, sure, of course, he would be happy to donate that space. So here we are, it's a perfect spot, I think. Um, it's off the beaten path a little bit, um, easy to get to, parking is right there. Um, and you know, I think it's nice that people stumble along and come across this mural because it's a little bit hidden. Um, and so I had Dale help me with the mural, I had Casey, um, from Great American uh, Wash, Great American Soft Wash. Soft wash. Um, he power washed it. Uh, I had Lee Mansky help with grading the area. Um, those are just to name a few of my, you. thanks. <laughs> <laughs> those are just a few of the big hitters that have really helped out. The community has been super helpful as well. And uh, I've always said I just love the spot because you can walk down the trail and then all of a sudden right. it's there because it just is kind of hidden. It is a little hidden, yes. But it's just, just a perfect, uh, and I'll, I'll show that in some videos, how, how it just recessed a little bit. Um, so, Tori, your, your son, Ben, Ben Morrison, his name is on here, and I tried to, I wanted to have his, his name here in this picture while we're taking the video, but it's up a little bit too high for us. But So, what do you want to say? But I do want you to tell us about Ben and uh, and what it's like to have Ben remembered here this way. Well, Ben graduated from Loveland in 2020 and um, was an athlete there. And um, we fast forward to 2021 and um, I got the call that Ben took his life. And um, I just started my journey with um, raising awareness about mental health and stopping that stigma. Ben didn't exhibit any signs of mental illness. I have no idea if he suffered from depression or anxiety, and I'll never know. But I just want to make sure no other kids suffer in that way. And as far as um, when Stacy came to me about this project, I was just so moved. Um, she's just such a thoughtful person and wanted to do this not just for Ben, but for all of the kids that are gone too soon. And um, it's, I didn't realize how emotional it was gonna be for me. I had the opportunity to come up here when they were actually painting his name and I didn't realize how what it was gonna affect me. Um, we chose to have been cremated so we don't have a spot, you know, where, and now this has become my spot. If I'm having a bad day, I pull up in the parking lot and sometimes I get out and sometimes I don't but uh, there's a lovely bench over there that um, you know you can just kind of sit on and reflect and it just was a wonderful gift that Stacy and this community gave to all of us parents. Yeah. So that's multiplied by how many parents now? Yes, yes there's yes there's 40 um, angels on the wall right now um, we yeah. just added four um, this week 
um, the earliest. And, that, that, and that's just for new names. It's new not, names, right. It's new yeah, names. Actually, one had just passed away this year. But, um, yeah, the dates start at 1972. Um, and yeah. the age range is 3 to 23. Um, and it, it, like, from 1972. So that it doesn't have to be any recent. Um, yeah. We did just add a new one, though, that just passed away this. Um, Ben's classmate, actually. Yeah. Um, so... Um, it is an ongoing project. I will say, I the community just, I was overwhelmed with the um, support from the community. I was pretty surprised too, to know how fast it took off. Right, it really did. Um, I raised probably half of it in five months, half of the project. So the project costs $19,000 um, and I have 2,500 to go. Um, but I feel like that's really huge since it hasn't been a year yet. So I'm glad you said that because I want you to tell people how they can help pay that expense. And then that makes you part of the wall. Right. And doing it. You'll right. feel like you'll feel some ownership. People put yes. their mouth where their yes, money is. Yes, they really and... have. I mean, again, the community, it's just been so amazing to me. Um, I One other thing that was really amazing is this wasn't even painted yet. <laughs> and I probably got raised $3,000 before people could even see the vision of it. I mean, it was a, a computer rendering, which, you know, I don't know <laughs> that people trusted me that that was going to really happen. So um, anyway, to donate, um, I have a GoFund, GoFundMe page, uh, Venmo, and I can always, you can do it by check. Um, all that information is on the Facebook page. So if you go to Angels by the Trail uh, Facebook group, I think it is, um, all that information's there. Even if you Google Angels by the Trail, I'm on Yelp. Um, there's articles about it. And the GoFundMe page comes up. So if just Google Angels by the Trail and it'll come up. Um, there's also an information box right here on site that I have Facebook cards with the QR code. Um, and so you can donate that way too. And uh, that reminds me of something else. Who's Ben Morrison? No. Logan, you're very stupid. I don't know who Ben is. Hi, Mr. Morrison. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Oh, I just so love you. that. Just people <laughs> walking by and saying his name. And asking where he is. That. I, th I think they saw Ben's name before they saw you. Yeah, I think so too. But and, and I don't know so if you sweet. all could hear that, but uh, four or five people just walked by and they shouted out Ben's name, so they're yeah. looking at the wall. Um, so, so Tori, uh, is it the Ben Morrison Foundation? Yes. The Ben Morrison Foundation. A little bit about that and a little bit about Ben's Way. That's a new program. Yes. So we started the Ben Morrison Foundation. We started giving scholarships to Loveland athletes and then added a, level, a volunteer, someone from the high school who volunteered for our organization. But we quickly realized that, as Stacy said, this community is just so great in supporting us that we needed to do more. And so we've started, we've had over 50 mental health events at different schools where we just hand out things for free uh, to remind young adults that we care about them and that there are people out there. And um, then the scholarships have all been written about Ben until this coming year. Um, the kids won't know him now. They've all graduated and that kind of thing. So we started a new program. We'll still do the scholarships. We started a new program called Ben's Way. and. Um, it's a way for kids to be remembered or recognized for random acts of kindness, um, which was the resounding theme from the essays about Ben, was how kind he was, how inclusive he was. And um, Kate and I, Kate Jackson and I always like to say, this isn't our idea of Ben, this is what everyone right. else said about Ben, yeah. because, you know, I think I've told you before, I was Ben's mom, you know, I, I'm fighting about the garbage going out, you know. Um, but what came through on the essays and even at the memorial service was just what well, he, a great human he kept he his room clean and all didn't he oh please no <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> so it's just uh, so we started that at the high school we got funding from ge credit union we've given out i believe six so far this year the kids receive a 25 dollar gift card if they're caught in the act. If they're caught in the act of doing something kind for someone else. Like Ben would have done. Like Ben would have done. Um, and I am, we're starting it at the middle school the second semester, and I am in talks with three other schools at this time. Yeah, and um, you're also continuously fundraising, and we'll put some links 
about that uh, so you guys can contribute also to that and, and keep in touch. And then there's the rocks. So Stacy, and this is for Ben. I don't know if you can see his <laughs> name on it. Ben Morrison. And I'm, I'm going to always say that name. So often as I think of it, because I know how important it is for moms and dads to know, well, to hear yes. the names. So that's another important thing about well, this wall. Yes, that's that was the main thing about this mural was that, um, you know, there's children that that passed away and their names aren't going to be spoken and parents are concerned about that. So I or, you know, they just want to make sure their kids names are heard. So I think this is a great way. I mean, kids just said Ben, ben Morrison as they walked by, which, you know, just to hear it, I'm sure, you know, that's awesome. That caught both yes. of us too, Yes, didn't it? yes. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I do think that um, it's just a nice way. Um, I know I have another family that walks by um, to see their child's name. They walk by here every day. Um, and so hopefully this gives people comfort. There's probably a hundred rocks over here, painted rocks under a, a, a pretty, beautiful tree right over here and I took a couple pictures of it uh, before we started uh, so there's a lot of rocks over there that people have been painting and you and you go yes. out to events and adults and children have mm -hmm. painted these yes rocks. I would encourage anybody that um, is bored during the winter paint some rocks uh, we're welcome to put them up under the tree um, and that can be for a loved one that had passed away that's out of our age range um, and or just uh, encouraging words or just a picture. So it's whatever you want to do. Um, uh, yeah, and then you just set them underneath the tree because I'd love to fill that space. So I every, need they're thousands. Every, <laughs> they're every bit as yeah. colorful as, as what you see behind us. And uh, there's butterflies painted on rocks over there. There's, uh, I just saw a cityscape, just cityscape. So it doesn't have to be for one particular person. Some of them are but it's really gorgeous and I was taken back by that too to see how pretty mm -hmm. that is over on the on the ground. Right, yep, well, yeah, and those can be anything. Yeah, yep. so uh, if we've left anything out, you guys are gonna remind me <laughs> and we'll get it in the story when it gets published. Uh, so uh, I hope you guys know more about what is down here and, and make a, a trip to come down and see it. Remember this is the Linda Cox parking lot. There's, it's really a great par place to park, and it's just uh, 50 feet over here to the wall. Um, so uh, good to see you, loved one, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks.